So now we're going to look at the velocity part of this hip joint kinematic. So you can see this is velocity right here. And so the graph looks a little bit different, but let's just look at the points where velocity is zero. And it occurs at about 10%, about 45%, and somewhere around 80%. So let's go back and look at what we did for our position graphs. And indeed, velocity is zero at about 10%, 40%, and 80%. So the other thing we want to look at is where there is a peak in velocity, and that's usually mid-range of motion. So let's look at this big extensor peak and then a flexor peak, okay? Because this is actually extension, and this is the flexion direction. And so the peak is around 25, and the flexor peak is around 65. So let's go back and look at that, and we see that mid-range our um, mid-range of the extension motion where velocity should be max we stated is about 25 and then around 65. Okay the other thing I want to highlight is let's just look at this extension motion from about 10 to 40 percent. Let's see what's going on with that motion. So here it is. Um, the motion is increasing the extensor velocity and then we have a decrease in the extensor velocity. So basically, um, as you're starting the motion, you're increasing the velocity, mid-range, you start to decrease, so you can change direction and go from hip extension to hip flexion.